I'm talking about taking the entire visceral experience of cooking and eating and putting it online. We're just call it minimal. Drop the. It's cool. This minimalist was the beginning of my playing around with eggless mayonnaises. Mayonnaise, as you probably know, real mayonnaise is egg, oil, and some kind of acid, usually, usually vinegar, makes a perfect emulsion, very creamy, very smooth. But there are lots of different things that act like mayonnaise, taste sort of like mayonnaise from all over the world. And this one is called Scordalia, uses no egg, much less oil, and uses walnuts and bread soaked in milk or stock for texture and consistency. It's Balkan or Greek in origin, and it's really terrific. We're going to start by taking some bread, stale bread, and soaking it in some milk. And soak that. I'm going to take some walnuts, some cilantro, and this could be parsley if you're cilantro phobic, some paprika. This can be hot paprika or mild. It can be pimenton, smoked paprika, and a clove of garlic. That goes in the food processor with our mushy bread. And it's mushy enough. We don't want much of that liquid. Squeeze it mostly dry. Salt and pepper in here. And now we're going to turn the food processor on, God willing. Grinding the walnuts, chopping the bread, and we're going to add oil until we have a nice consistency. Do about a quarter of a cup of oil. Now you have something that starts to look like mayonnaise. And you can mix it in huge gobs with your chicken. The scordalia is playing the same role as a mayonnaise would play. It's way more flavorful and arguably a little, maybe it's, it's a little, um, I hesitate to say healthier, but it has a little less fat in it. Now you're going to want to use a lot of it because it really tastes great. And the chicken, of course, has almost no flavor at all. So a little chicken salad, or maybe not so little bit of chicken salad on some fresh greens. A couple cilantro leaves just to dress it up a tiny bit. We're in business. You get this crunchiness of the walnuts, which is really nice. I love the garlic in here. Garlic and mayonnaise is always great. Cilantro, the paprika. It's really, really a nice set of flavors and wonderfully creamy.